Shout, shout out to John. John's from the Discord. People that seen Dino's live show, you know about him. Yeah. He's always in the Jumpers Discord. Anyways, we were just talking about the Jonestown massacre. Yeah. Is it Jonestown? Jonestown. Uh, John, Jonestown, yeah. And Jim Jones, the cult leader. The big cult leader, yeah. So John was telling me some shit. Like, I never heard about him. But yeah. apparently, like, he knows some stuff about there because <laughs> yeah. his dad was there. Yeah, so it's, it's a more bigger thing. But the whole, like, idea behind it is Jim Jones. He was originally he, he's a cult leader is basically yeah. what he was um and he before all of it he was actually like heavy into christianity like he was a follower of god he believed in the teachings mm -hmm. and after he developed his own like kind of thought of thinking and he had followers behind it so, wait was it connected to christianity and catholicism it was yeah so it was it so was it was like his own take on it it's own take on it yeah. okay so it was kind of related to like the pentecost yeah and he took it a different road and he had followers that followed him down this road mm. for the people that don't know the jonestown massacre i think is like the largest or the biggest the massacre mass yeah. in human history yeah, right it's one of the it's one of the more mass ones. suicide mass suicide in yeah. human history i'm pretty sure yeah like one guy managed to like took like like literally thousands hundreds of people to just kill themselves that's how bad it yeah, was yeah and what they did i'm pretty sure he he told them to drink like a, a kool-aid yeah like a poison like a poison yeah, kool-aid yeah yeah i literally just told him to just do that and then they just all off themselves they like it was, it was pretty messed but that's um, crazy yeah it was pretty bad so what he did was this was in america first yeah and he got a little bit of a pressure in america from his teachings because they were a bit too extreme mm -hmm. so he decided to build a temple so he decided to come to Guyana, which is where I'm from. Yeah. Uh, and he built it in Guyana, in one of the, the more remote regions of Guyana. And mm -hmm. he named this his temple, like this temple community, he named it Jonestown. Yeah. So like, it, that's his own place now. That's his own place. Yeah. It's like, like his own compound and shit. Exactly. So like Little Italy or like or like Little Jamaica or something like that. And yeah. Like, it had his own name and its own like history behind it. Word. Yeah. So he, he made like this whole like, he made this whole society, like this whole hidden society. So that's his whole like own little country he yeah, just made. Exactly. His whole own little, like his little, that his man didn't hook up in that one little spot. <laughs> yeah, his own little organization. So it's actually really bad because he got people to believe him to the point where they abandoned their lives in America. They yeah. sold their houses and they straight up just came down to Ghana to live. Oh shit. So he took Americans there. Yeah, he took Americans there. Yeah. So he took his uh, teachings and people from America because they didn't really like him there. Yeah. And he's like, screw it. I'm just going to come back to Ghana where I can do my teachings in peace without any interruptions. Oh, I thought, I thought it was just like the Guyanese or like the people in Ghana. No, 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 no. It was Americans. Damn, yeah, no, bad. that's crazier. That's <laughs> yeah. crazier. So he convinced the people there to be like, come with me, travel with me all exactly. the way over there. And they, lived, they abandoned their lives. They sold all their houses. They literally quit their jobs just to come and live with him. Like people like really believed in his message. That's fuck. Yeah, so literally he he believed in something. It was like a revolutionary suicide. So he believed yeah. like every everyone killed themselves, like something would happen, right? Mm -hmm. And he did it. Like he literally, I couldn't, I couldn't even believe Wait, did it. he die too? I believe, that? yeah he he died as well like he really believed in his message he died with the people like he managed damn. everyone to kill themselves damn so, so so he really thought like this is this is his this was the way yeah that's like his a prophet type of thing yeah this is the way type of thing <laughs> <laughs> show me the way this is the way yeah okay so what did your dad hear about it then like whenever there's any big event yeah um you you hear about it in the country so like i'll give an example like if there's like a big event that happens in a country mm -hmm. like someone dies or something everyone hear about it because because guyana is a small country it's a very small country yeah. it's got like what a little over half a million people or something like that mm -hmm. so it's not that not that big in the slightest like like 9 11 exactly type of thing, that's right? basically what it was like you were shocked like it's crazy this never happens let alone in guyana where nothing like no one even knows about guyana so yeah, yeah, yeah some people might just be hearing about the country guyana right now mm -hmm. but um but yeah it was like really just if, honest i can't even believe it it's just crazy yo you know what's crazy you know um joaquin phoenix the guy that played joker yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. actor right yeah so he actually grew up in a cult not a lot of people know that what so joaquin and and river phoenix river yeah. phoenix i think he was in indiana jones he was in um what's that stand by me i don't know if you ever watched that movie uh i think i've heard about it yeah. yeah but anyways so these two child actors which became like very famous actors later on in life well river phoenix actually passed away but anyways yeah they were actually part of a cult bro so he grew up in a cult and he grew up in a cult where they did some some questionable things <laughs> some suspicious questionable stuff. things with children fam whoa whoa wait, yeah what? <laughs> children no nah, i don't okay i don't want to get into it because it's kind of gruesome but yeah. like it's some next stuff but that's what's crazy is you see people that 
like everyday people yeah and you don't know what they're about or oh, you don't know what they've been through or like who knows they could have been part of that club yeah. who knows they could have been like a freemason they could be part of <laughs> illuminati right yeah, 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 you know yeah. what i mean no that's true that's true you don't know like really who you're walking by you could be walking by a killer you can be walking by like someone who who just knows something you know what yeah I mean? like it's just it's it's so unpredictable like when you meet people and stuff you learn so much about them mm -hmm. it's like it's just it's crazy man there's a lot of things you learn from people have you ever came across somebody while you were living in guyana that was like a questionable or like sketchy person. <laughs> <laughs> there, was not a, there was a lot of questionable people, bro. There's so there's so much questionable people you meet in Guyana. Like it's such it's it's a culture heavy um, country in yeah. terms of like religious beliefs and like paranormal stuff, man. It's so mm. heavy in paranormal stuff. Like, Do they have their own kind of witchcraft there too? Because I know in the Philippines and a lot of places in Africa, they had their own like voodoo, whether it be like witchcraft, certain like um kind of spiritual things they do oh yeah there's a lot of spiritual stuff here it, or where i'm in guyana it's yeah it's like witchcraft and black magic but oh yeah like black magic yeah, right? yeah most yeah. of that stuff though it, it created like i would say creatures like people believed in a lot of creatures and oh they had their own mythology yeah like folk like folklore i think it's what it's called like, yeah it's yeah yeah that heavy everyone knew like the same creatures I, I say, okay yeah. what's one of them what's one of them all right i'll tell you the most famous like the most infamous creature in guyana it's what is called it? It's called the Baku. Oh shit! The Baku. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scary, the Baku. Like, like, bro. When you were a kid and you heard someone say, "Yo, if you don't behave, the Baku's coming," you're clenched up. You're on your, you're on your. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I better not, I better not mess up here. So, the Baku was basically this like small creature, mm -hmm. and it was like small and hairy. It all, it was almost like a like a leprechaun. Yeah. Right. So what it did was. It, it was small and it was scary looking. So it had red eyes and mm. rabbit ears, right? Like it's just like this this beast. It's just whole 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 beast out here. Yeah. And what it was used for, it was mostly looking back on it, it was probably a scare tactic for kids where if you don't do so and so, the mm. Baku's gonna come for you. Oh, so it's like a it's like a you better behave type of yeah, thing. Yeah, you better behave or I'm, I'm I'm gonna call my boy Baku and I'll pull up here. <laughs> so yeah. next time. But um yeah, basically how it worked was at nighttime, mm -hmm. it especially took liking to kids. Okay. Pause. But yeah, and, uh, <laughs> in in the nighttime, it used to come at nighttime into the house, break into houses, and yeah. raid your fridge. Oh shit! It loved expired milk and bananas. Why? Why? I, I don't know. That's so specific. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, that's it's, that's it's mad specific. specific. It's, very, it's mad specific. But that's the two things I remember um, being told about, and. Um, it had really long fangs. I'm just remembering details off the top of my head, but it had yeah. really long fangs. And it could smell when a kid was being naughty. And oh, if you shit. were being naughty, it would straight up just like gobble you whole. Like if it would go into your yeah. room and just mo mo like munch on that, you. That's similar to what, what the Filipinos have is the mumu. But <laughs> the mumu though is just like, um, it's like an unknown creature. Like it's just something scary. Like oh, yeah? there's no physical features that we know about it. It's just like a ghost. You know what I mean? Really? Like it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. <laughs> so it, it's just it's like a general creature. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. No, you no, better no. behave or the moomoo's gonna get you. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? He's pulling up hot. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, you mean. No, That's what it's like. Yeah, no, there's there's bear. There's another one. Um this one's actually a bit more a bit more serious. This one's called Ol Haigu. Was that Ol Haigu. So this one so there's a there's a term we have in Ghana. This is also another term that I'm, I'm not sure if many people heard about. Mm -hmm. The term is called Jumbi. <laughs> I think I heard jumbi, that. I yeah. swear I heard that term, before. It's probably used in the Caribbean, but the, the term is called jumbi. Very like yeah. everyone knows about it in Guyana and probably in the Caribbean. It just means ghosts. Just ghosts. That, yeah, it's just mm. ghosts and like paranormal stuff. It's just a jumbi. Like mm. a, that, that entity is a jumbi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was a jumbi. It's called Ol Haigu. And it's basically a spirit. It takes yeah. many forms, but the idea behind it, it's very similar to the back where it comes into the houses, mm -hmm. but it, it it's specifically made to punish people. Oh, shit. Yeah. So what it does is it takes the form. People say it takes the form of like a fireball. Yeah. So like if you're out at nighttime, it comes out at nighttime. If you're out at nighttime, you see a fireball just floating around. Mm -hmm. It's probably all high and you need to you need to dip, fam. <laughs> <laughs> the area is not safe. You need to leave here immediately. Damn, but what the fuck? Yeah. So what happens is it comes into your house. Yeah. Typically through your keyhole. Your key, what yeah, the, the fuck? keyhole. I don't know why, bro. You could just <laughs> break a window and hop on in the house. Yeah, but it has to come through the keyhole. So it's it's places that you can't cover up that mm -hmm. shows like it's inviting for them to come in, right? Mm -hmm. So they would slip it on through the keyhole. So it mostly punished. It, well, it didn't punish. It took away kids. It used to kidnap kids and it used to harm them. Yeah. So a way that families used to combat it, mm -hmm. the most popular way I guess would have heard is it's it's such a tedious thing. They used to take <laughs> these whole bag of rice. Yeah. And pour it on the front the front door. Wait, why? For what? So what they used to do was 
they believed in order for the old haigu to enter your house, yeah, they have to individually count all grains of rice, and then <laughs> after they it used to enter your house. So they're hoping that buys the buys it time. Oh, it, it makes them not want to do it because they have to count all that. They shit. have to count all the rice, <laughs> and if it hits morning, they gotta leave. It's it's, it's morning time. It's not night. Yeah, why? Why, why is it, okay? Why is it that in every single spiritual event or like yeah. monsters, every single creature, they only show up? At nighttime. Yeah. Why is that? Why is yeah, that? It's like a spooky thing. I don't even know. It's like their thing, bro. Their trademark, their TM. Like they, they don't show up during the day. Like yeah. they're not allowed to show up. During, like why? Why can't they just pull up during the day? They move in the dark, fam. <laughs> they move in the dark. Anything too. Like you're never scared. I'm only scared when it's when it's dark or whenever it's nighttime. Like never has there been a time where like during the day and I think about a ghost like, oh shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get attacked by a ghost. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. it's light out. What do you think that is? Why Why do you think that is? Well, I think, like, even even when we were kids, like, the nighttime, when you're in a dark room, yeah. you, 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 like, you don't feel safe. Like, if I put any man in a dark room, they're, they don't they don't feel like... It's like the unknown? Could, yeah, the unknown. Like, yeah. You don't know what's going on around us, right? Anything could be going on around us. A train of ghosts could be, like, spinning around behind us. Yeah, yo, could, I think see. that's what scares me the most, is, like, when you can't see anything, and you think something might be there because it's your imagination. Of course, yes. That's why, 100%, right? 100%. Like, there's stuff like... Have you seen Hereditary, the movie? Yeah, Hereditary? Yeah, so there's a scene... Um, where the boy wakes up, right? Oh, I know what you're, 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 I know exactly you're talking, talking about. Yeah, he wakes up in the room. He's like, he just wakes up, and it's he's waking up in the night, right, in his room, and it's dark. He doesn't mm. know what's going on around him. And if you're really like, like sharp, and you look in the back, yeah. you see like you see the most mod thing, bro. You'll, oh see, you'll see a like a girl poked up in the top of the roof in the corner just yeah. like literally like spider-man on the roof just like staying not moving. it was his mom it was his oh, mom i think it was his mom yeah, she's just, like possessed and she's yeah, like she floating like posted up on the in the corner of the room on the roof just like chilling there yeah and he just carries on with his day like stuff like that if i'm in a dark room i always think there's like someone watching me <laughs> exactly that's so what I, it is i have to be on my toes i'm looking around i'm like make sure no one's around right <laughs> no, I, the craziest one is whenever i'm like in the shower and i hear like a sound like downstairs or something i always think like oh shit somebody somebody's breaking in somebody's breaking in i gotta fight them naked <laughs> I swear, always, bro. Yeah. Anytime I hear a sound or like I'm in the shower yeah. or even, you know, when you're shampooing your hair yeah. and you got to close your eyes, yeah. that's the scariest moment ever is because when you can't see anything. Yeah, you're not in control. Like, I'm scared. Like, I'll open my eye and I see something in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's it, bro. Flying, flying arm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm hitting something. So. Okay, going back to Guyana, though, have you seen personally any spiritual experiences or any ghosts? I've seen a couple still. I've seen, I've seen yeah. a couple. Yeah, I haven't told anyone these tours, but I'll, I'll drop it on the potty. Um, let me hear it. Let me hear it. So there's another group I haven't talked about that's also a bit more popular. Mm -hmm. They're called the Shadow People. Oh, shit. I think I heard about this, actually. Yeah, I think they're probably world-renowned, but I, I, I've, actually, I've actually seen them. Um, I'm not sure if it was maybe I was a kid, it was a different point, but I, like, yeah. I seen them, seen them. Mm -hmm. So this was actually, it was me and a couple classmates when I was in school there. Um, and what we did, we were doing some pretty... Uh, non-kosher stuff we were uh, <laughs> we, we went up to like the teacher's room yeah and we were just up there and we took a ladder the emergency ladder mm -hmm. and we would just climb up to it and we got to like a boiler room or something like just a room that mm -hmm. you're not supposed to like a mechanical room right yeah so we're in there and it was me a girl and two other uh males yeah so we're walking around and out of nowhere i remember seeing this very like specifically mm -hmm. i saw a black it was like a black dot or a black outline of something on the wall and then like kind of, a dot yeah it was like a, it, it wasn't it was like a an elongated dot it was like a, yeah it was moving like it was moving like it was moving weird like it wasn't moving like anything i've seen before and i mm -hmm. didn't react to it i just looked at it and just took it in mm -hmm. and i just saw this dot move and get bigger and bigger on the wall yeah so as i'm looking at it I'm a kid at this time, so I can't like if I see something like now, I would probably dip. Like I'm not, I'm not staying. Yeah, here. yeah, but you didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was, mm -hmm. so I was fascinated. So I'm like just looking at it to see what what could this possibly be, right? Mm -hmm. And I look at my other friends, and one of the boys starts crying. Oh shit! Yeah, and the other girl goes on like goes on the ground and folds her leg. What the fuck? It was it was the weirdest thing. She goes on the ground, she folds her legs, and she puts her head down. What the on the ground? I I don't know. I was looking at it like what's going on here. And then the other boy who was just like standing and looking at me, he just yeah. says, let's leave. And everyone gets up, leaves. And from that point, we've never talked about it ever again. No one's ever brought Word. it up. Yeah, and I've just kept it at the back of my mind, still thinking like, 
what what did i see that day yo and after researching and figuring out what like what what creatures exist in guyana yeah. i'm pretty confident i saw like a shadow person damn which was weird it was it was a bit darker in the room and this i'm telling you the darkness i saw compared to the darkness in the room it was a very distinct darkness. It was like, it was like something there, like an actual like, figure. Yeah, like something was actually there. Like it was like it wasn't like on the wall. It was like literally like just using the wall to move. It was very what weird. What the fuck? Yeah. No, what's crazy is that you have people there that saw the same thing oh, though. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's people why it's crazy. It. Yeah, that's why I was looking at them and I was looking at how they reacted to it. Like one girl was, uh, the dude was crying. The girl was sitting down putting her head Bro. Down. Like, what, what is going on here like is someone morphing right now like <laughs> she was like doing some weird movements but um yeah man it's like i'm telling you the stories are crazy. They're, just, what the they're crazy um i have another one too yeah yeah, yeah. so this one's like, i actually remember this one even better and mm. my dad was here with me was this when you're younger or older? this is when i was young this is when i was like 10 okay okay so um what happened was we were at an ice cream shop this yeah. was at, so in guyana uh 5 and 6 p.m it's pitch black Mm -hmm. yeah so it gets pitched back immediately so this is around like 8 9 p.m yeah right? so this is towards the night time and we went to, to get ice cream that night mm -hmm. um a family of ours like owns an ice cream shop so we were just there chilling outside eating like an ice cream sandwich or something and i was yeah. chilling and guyana is very a highly vegetated area like there's a lot of forests and stuff like, like that. jungle yeah, jungles, yeah, yeah, yeah. jungles so we're just chilling there and right next to us it's the dark the, the sky is dark right yeah and i remember seeing something i don't know what it is to this day i can't even find anything about it mm -hmm. i see this like this vulture what the it, it wasn't even a vulture it was like this huge green bird yeah and it was coming and it stopped on top of one of the power like the power line poles mm -hmm. it stopped there and the eyes were red i remember seeing the eyes were red and it was looking around and i was looking at it and asked my i remember i specifically remember asking my dad yeah dad what is that now i'm pointing he looks at it and for the first time ever i saw my dad freeze <laughs> i'm not even kidding i swear <laughs> to that i swear I, I remember him looking and freezing he's just looking at it like bro and i'm like I'm just trying to take in like what's going yeah, on, like, yeah, what's yeah. happening. Right? And my dad looks at me, he says, "Look away and keep eating your ice cream." And I looked Ooh, away. Oh, he said, I, "Look away." He said, "Look away and keep looking at your ice cream." I remember he calling my uncle over and saying, w "What is that?" Yeah. And then they're just looking at me, and they're like, "Just, just don't mind it. Look away and keep uh, what uh, eating your ice cream." What the? Fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm baffled to this day. I don't even know what that was. Dog, you saw the little fucking Green Goblin in real life. <laughs> <laughs> It could have been Greek comedy, bro. bro. It was. It so was, was it like a creature or was it like a human figure? What was it? It was like this really Like huge, a bird? It was like a really huge bird. Like the wingspan was crazy, man. Like when yeah. it was landing, it opened its wings to like catch the air and land. It was way too big for like an eagle or a bird. It was really green and yeah. had red eyes. I don't know what it was what to this the day. Fuck? Like my dad, like uh, I always ask my dad, like everyone goes to their dad for stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I asked my dad, I'm like, Yo, And he didn't know himself. He, he looked at it and he was just like, puzzled like i don't even know what he was thinking that day Damn. And did you said, ever look into like um some of the mythology that it might represent i have but i, I just can't find anything that similar i've seen birds and like huge birds it's kind of locked in you pokemon <laughs> <laughs> you saw a legendary like, pokemon I, I saw something I, i've never seen before like, i was just ba <laughs> baffled bro i don't know what to say damn yeah man it's, it's honestly like crazy the things you see man it's honestly like I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't even know what it could possibly be. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, it it could have, yo, because I heard there's a lot of sightings of like dinosaur type of creatures. Like a lot of people say some dinosaurs still exist to the day. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. But they're like hidden away in very remote areas where not a lot of people go to, right? Really? So there's this, um, there's this, there's this comedian. Is he a comedian? No, there's this artist, David Cho right i've heard about him yeah. you heard about him yeah, right I've heard about David. and he went on an adventure to find the last dinosaur to live you heard about that i've never heard about that really yeah they <laughs> even made crazy? like a whole documentary and everything right okay so bro so he had to find like this village no he had to go deep and deep and deep into the jungle and i think it's in south africa somewhere okay somewhere but he ended up at this village right and then this village was like okay we can take you there we can take you there but the way to get there is very very dangerous and you will likely die like there's not only diseases you might catch there's crocodiles there's all these poisonous animals oh, snakes wild. whatever yeah, yeah, so yeah. you going there to try and find this dinosaur you're probably gonna die yeah. but these villagers they all say that they've seen it really like it's actually a real thing and they've all like spoken to the the people that are doing documentary like yeah this is real like it's documented 
they have sightings of this real dinosaur. It's crazy. That's that's crazy, man. What the heck? Yeah. Also in China, right? Because you hear about it all the time, like um the Yeti or like yeah. Bigfoot and shit. Yeah, yeah. That people have sightings, but there's no like solid proof, right? Oh yeah, there's no solid concrete evidence. Yeah. So there's this crazy video I saw on YouTube. It was in China and they said it was the sound of a dragon waking up. What? It's crazy. Okay, I want to play. I want to play for you. <laughs> I have, to, I have to see this, bro. What? Yeah. So it was making this like super loud noise in the mountains in China. That's crazy. That- and and it was multiple. It was multiple people. It was like I want to say over fifty people that were there gathered. Yeah. They're like, what is that sound? Right here. I'm going to show you. Listen. Listen. In for, more than 10 days, for 10 days. For 10 days. What the hell? You hear that? Yeah, what is that? Of this sound. From on <laughs> Yo, this is real though. This is real. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the hell? See, all these people... All these people like gathered to try and find out what it is. Like, what's going on? Where is this sound coming from? That's crazy. crazy bro. like what the fuck <laughs> that's crazy <bro. laughs> that's honestly bro i honestly respect people who go out of their way to like find stuff like that like yeah you know who jeremy wade is who's that that so he's a fisherman who goes and he finds like these crazy fishes from different places in the world oh wait is it the is it the the river monsters guy yeah it's the river monsters yeah, guy oh okay monsters, i know he's I not said river monsters guy yeah i know he is yeah, so he's the Rivers Monsters guy. So yeah. what he does is he goes around the world and he catches all these like these crazy, like these crazy out of the world fishes. Mm-hmm. He catches like these things that drag people into the ground and eat them, like these sharks. Mm-hmm. Like he catches the craziest things ever. And there was one that it was it was really just whack. Like it was a fish yeah. with like razor sharp teeth. What the fuck? Yeah, it, was, it, 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 it didn't look like a normal fish. It was a fish with yeah, like yeah. these just like these chompers of teeth, bro. Like they they could like rip apart like meat, like that. Yo, you know what's cr- crazy to me though is is that the fact that we haven't even explored like half of the ocean, yeah, half of the waters, yeah, yeah, anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. And you know the story of like Atlantis, yeah. So there's this scientist that believes there's an underground like ocean within the ocean. So it's like a deeper. It's like a deeper set of ocean within the ocean. It's very, very odd, right? Okay. And he's trying to explain that the city of Atlantis might be underneath like Antarctica. Because if you think about it, think about it, right? If there's no evidence of this place, Atlantis, but it's written about in books in ancient history through Plato, Socrates, whoever, right? Yeah. All of these philosophers that have real events that they wrote about. Yeah. Why is there no evidence of this lost city, Atlantis? <laughs> so, so the theory is that the reason there's no evidence is because over centuries it's frozen over and it's lost. Oh, because you can imagine all of that shit is covering it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there has to be a landmass there somewhere. May, that that's very interesting. I've heard that. We'll find it soon, fam. Because like the world's global warming. Global itself. warming, right? It's global melting, warming, bro. They're melting like crazy. So we something. Watch it just randomly pop up, like in Antarctica. That'd be sick. I think. I think there's something actually there, bro. What do you think? You think there's actually like something they're hiding there? Because none, like a regular person, can't go there. Oh, of course not. Yeah, I. There could be something because even Antarctica. I don't think it's like fully explored. You know what I it's mean? It's not. It's, it's not. It's I don't not, think so. Yeah, I don't think anyone's like put in the, the actual resources to be like is there anything here that's is there a reason why this part of the world was frozen over mm-hmm. you know what i mean like was was there like something here that froze this part of the world yeah um but yeah i i don't think we'll ever like we we'll probably won't see it in this life but it, it'll probably come eventually i hope so bro because yeah. i really want to see something where it's like wait a minute this doesn't make sense to human history right yeah. now and then have to be like fuck we gotta change what we know now yeah yeah yeah. do you think do you think if some crazy phenomenon whether it be like uh, evidence of aliens or evidence of like a futuristic advanced civilization from the past comes up do you think the media will hide it just because they want to be wrong about what they've wrote already i think yeah i think if the media does find something about this Mm -hmm. i think they'll try to get get it as much to the public as possible you but think it, so? Yeah, but it'll be heavily regulated by the government. 
Because mm. I think the government doesn't want people to know, like, with aliens. Remember before there was this long battle where the government kept denying there was aliens? Yeah. I read something recently, like, like a month or so ago, I read something where the government actually admitted that there are aliens mm. and they were going to release a document about their findings about the aliens. Yeah, it was like the CIA, like a black files or yeah, something, like, right? Yeah, like some crazy file or something like yeah. that. And Joe Rogan was talking about like, there's aliens here, there, and there. Mm. We don't know where they are. Um, I think that'd be interesting to see like, I don't know how it is with aliens, but I think it'd be interesting to learn more about aliens yeah. to see like what... What can they do, right? Because men are talking about light travel and like I warp know, speed. Like, I know, yeah, right? This is, I, I don't know. This is Star Wars, right? Like men are talking about all this different stuff. But here's the problem, though. Here's the problem: if if aliens do exist, right? Yeah, hundred percent. The world of religions, they're gonna be baffled. What do you think? I think I think they might be baffled still. Like, <laughs> be yeah. baffled, like wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, they're probably gonna be baffled because yeah, that's true. Now thinking about it, I think everyone might look at it differently now because. I think mostly religion is based off of, I wouldn't say earth, but it, it's it's mostly based off of like the culture around earth, right? How yeah. this one world, like I don't think religion talks about the different universes or like if there's anything like that. No, not exactly. Because yeah. all they know about is earth, the, the oh, land they were, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. land they, they had. Of course, yeah. So they don't really, and there's no real talks about the cosmos, space, because they didn't, they didn't have the technology to know about that. Of right? course, of course. Yeah. So if, if some things come, if aliens land on earth, right? Yeah. If there's like a huge phenomenon where like, damn, they're real, they're here. Yeah. My theory is there's going to be a whole new religion, which oh, will yeah, take yeah. over the world, which would be like, yo, this is where we came from. This is the answer of life. Like, this is what it's going to be. Because if they're super advanced, right? Yeah. And they came from like the next side of the galaxy. Do you think they would have answers that we don't to the to the meaning of life? Well, I think if aliens were to, I view it like this: if aliens come to us, I don't know if you've seen those videos or those documentaries where they find tribes on different islands. Yeah, They've just been completely isolated from the majority of the world. Mm -hmm. Right, so they don't even know what's going on. They're using bow and arrows. Like there was a the screenshot of them like seeing a drone. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Trying to shoot it down with bow and arrows. They don't know spears. what the fuck that shit yeah, is. They don't even know. They don't even know the full pieces to the puzzle. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't know the full uh, thing. I think that would be similar to aliens viewing us. Mm. We're we're just keeping it to ourselves on this planet, and we're not branching out to see different planets, maybe different areas. Yeah, and they're gonna view us more of as like almost a primitive species where we we haven't even discovered like maybe like the fuel they use to time travel or stuff like that or like mm. jumps warp speed or something like that because we're too like we're too dumb for them yeah yeah we're too caught up in our own world we haven't even like we haven't even we haven't even got off the boat we haven't even left our planet and went like that's you know, so true capitalize anywhere else right yeah so that's so true us, like these guys haven't even like really started to leave their planet and branch off into different areas like mm -hmm. that's how we're going to be viewed as damn bro that's gonna be tough i think i think life will change 100 percent, and i think it's just a matter of time before something like that happens yeah and then everything's gonna like it's because if you think about it life right now what is our purpose right shit get a job like have work. a family yeah. work work right Blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah work whatever spend on things you want to buy yeah but if the true, what if, what if somebody came here and then gave us like the meaning of life or like what we're supposed to do with our, ourselves, that would change everything. That would change everything. That would change everything. Especially, especially if they have proof of, let's say the afterlife or where our souls go after. Yeah. Whether yeah. you believe in that or not. Right. Of course. Like if they have, if they have proof of that and they have knowledge of, okay, this is what's next. We're all going to be working towards that. We're not going to care about this. I mean, so all of this society, building commercials, blah, 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 selling product, blah, 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 building wealth for nothing. Of course. Because it's going to be, it's going to be for the next life, not this, the eternal. Yeah, that's, uh, it's actually interesting that you mentioned that. I have, um, I was actually back like a year or so ago, a couple of years ago, I saw this video mm -hmm. of uh it looked like it, it was trying to depict like the secret service or like the the cia or something yeah they captured an alien i don't mm. know if this, this, the video is probably fake or something but it made a really interesting point where they captured this alien and they're interviewing it like it was a live uh, video recording interview i'll show you oh later, yeah, yeah where they basically talk to to the alien and, and try to like like who are you where are you from mm. right? it was like this green alien and the alien basically said i'm from earth oh shit and we're we're like earth what do you mean and he basically said earth 
far ahead of time like he time traveled back or something like that yeah yeah and then we're like oh okay so how do you look like this like how do you know you're from earth stuff like that mm-hmm. and he said the reason why he looks like this and everything is changed and he came back to warn us he actually came back to warn us that's why he's here yeah and he said there's gonna be a huge war that breaks out oh shit and it's gonna get to a point where all standards drop and mans are just dropping nukes and bombs and oh. other bombs. mans are just going deep just yeah, to yeah, yeah. wipe out each other because there's gonna be a division soon mm-hmm. with people and it's get it's gonna get to the point where the other party wants that other party dead to the point where they're just gonna rip apart the earth just to just to win the battle. Yeah. And it's gonna get to a point where literally we're gonna damage human society as we know it mm-hmm. to the point where we can't even repair it. Um and, and I, there's no turning back from there is no turning there's back. no turning yeah. back so i think it's going to be like a this huge thing like you made an interesting point where if aliens do come yeah um like we're just going to let go of all of our religious beliefs mm-hmm. right so i actually have a theory about that what's um, your theory what's your theory you know, I, I made a theory I yeah made <laughs> so the theory i have is what's going to happen is you said what are the two biggest groups right now it's the freemasons and, and the illuminati the illuminati. illuminati is like Freemasons, same yeah. thing, same shit. I think there's going to be a huge outburst where one group is going to rise to claim world power mm. because after the aliens come, they're basically just going to spit on our hierarchy of who's who's top. They're going to spit oh, on the government. Oh, that's so true. They're just going to spit on and say, none of this is this, this. They'll come with these points. Yeah. And let's say the Freemasons, they use their, they use this information yeah. to rise above and say, we will be the world government. We will help you run run the world mm. to meet up with the standards of the aliens and there's going to be people who obviously don't agree with that yeah and it's going to be that's where the line and that's going to be like a whole war that's going to be war in itself a war of control over the over the earth is what i'm thinking damn and, <laughs> and then the video of the alien comes back into the play like it's crazy it just goes into a circle shit what do you think about that i think i think when it becomes to that point that's when everybody's like okay put me into simulation <laughs> you get me though put me in vr put me in the metaverse yeah 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 because yeah, if, if you think about it right not everybody can be let's say the ruler of their own world and a lot of people do yeah a lot of people want to be in control of everything in their life of right? course of course but no yeah. way that's possible if it comes to the point where we do have the technology to put us in that position and escape like the harsh environment that they're in, the, the harsh reality of like, let's say it's an apocalypse, let's say there's war, famine, whatever, and dip out. Why not? Yeah. Like Why escape, not? Like an escape, right? Yeah. yeah. Like imagine, imagine you make your own Minecraft world, but it's like real life <laughs> yeah. and you get to live in that forever. That makes sense. With like people like infinite Tsukiyomi. <laughs> like that type of shit bro yeah like like the matrix Remember yeah when like the playing, matrix like the, like the cryopod or something and he lives off of those tubes mm-hmm. and he was in like a like he wasn't in a different world i would say he was in his world yeah the world yeah he dreamed of to be his ideal world mm-hmm. while in reality he was plugged in to find an escape mm. i think that might be a big thing especially with like the metaverse like mark zuckerberg yeah bringing up like a different world where you can you can be who you want to be mm-hmm. he's basically i think he would be creating a, an escape where people would undermine the, this current world mm. and prefer more of the world that's in the metaverse because it's a world where they can change to whatever they want. Yeah. They can do whatever they want in that world. You know what I mean? That That's, that's kind of what they really, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to be the pioneers of it so yeah. that they can take advantage, like be the ones to make the money off of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. At the end of the day, they want to be like the Christopher Columbus of this verse. Of course. Of right? course. Yeah. It's, it's a battle for, for power honestly mm-hmm. like who, who like the amount of influence i can get you know what i mean yeah Yo, you know what it is though the thing is i would never want to be in the metaverse unless it's like hd yeah because <laughs> right now you're telling me right now you would you would just like live in the metaverse and everything just looks like playstation 2 graphics yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah bro like soft graphics yeah, yeah yeah i think until until it becomes close to reality where it looks like 4k like i can see pores and shit <laughs> Then it's going to be a problem. But yeah. as of right now, with like VR, you're hopping into the metaverse and the central land or whatever. That shit looks like old PS2, looks PlayStation. Soft, but you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. Um, I think we're getting to a point where stuff like that's going to happen. Because with all like the technology coming, you know what I mean? Like, did you see what like you can implant chips at the back of your head and stuff? Yeah, like that? yeah, I was yeah. like, what is that about, bro? You put a chip <laughs> at the back of your head? Okay, do you think... That's that's kind of the whole reason I don't I don't invest in uh, NFTs 
like a lot. I don't really invest much in NFTs. Do really? you? No, I don't. I don't get involved with that type of stuff. Because I have a feeling like, okay, this is my theory on NFTs. Yeah. My theory on N- NFTs is there's this whole boom and it's a wave, right? People are going to be buying digital art because it's going to be used in metaverse or whatever. Yeah. Sure. It's going to be the, the first of the first, blah, blah, blah. 100%, I believe all that shit is going to go up in value. Yeah. But I believe a lot of the other things outside of it are going to raise in value also. So, for example, instead of collecting digital comics like on Vivi, yeah. I think the physical are going to are gonna jump in value just as much. Just because it's like the act of collecting shit. Yeah. Of course, uh, it's always been like that with video games. I'll give an example mm-hmm. of video games. What's the one thing you want to have in video games? The newest skin. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I want a new camo. I want the newest skin. Like Fortnite. Oh, bro. Kids abuse their mom's credit card. Oh, yeah. They I want drop the new their skin. M- I want the new skin and stuff like that. <laughs> so everyone, everyone's dropping their money just to like get the social acceptance they 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 want right they mm. want to feel that they want to feel oh this guy has the newest skin you know he looks he look he looks sick with it yeah so that's what people want they want they want that acceptance they want power okay my yeah. question to you then is do you think there's going to be a point where they care more about the online rather than the physical I, I think it's already gotten to that point. You think so? I think nah, it's I don't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe man. that. I think it's there. I, I know people who spend countless hours just gaming. Some of them haven't even touched grass crazy. in the last couple of days. Yeah, man. I'm For probably, real? Yeah. Like some people just like, they game hard, man. I know guys who go deep. Because I know games. I know you're a serious gamer. Because I'm not I'm not too deep into yeah. into that realm. Yeah. But like I do see, I do see where you're coming from. But I don't know if I, I can see it becoming to like, it's all digital. Yeah, or caring too much, caring more about the digital than than the real world. I don't know. I think right now in the world, everything is accessed through the computers. Like literally, when I wake up, the first thing I see is the computer that's right next to my bed. Yeah. I can do anything there. I could get on a Zoom call for school. I can talk to my friends on the computer. Mm-hmm. I can order food on the computer through Uber Eats and have it delivered to me. I can go to work on the computer if I wanted to. I can do literally. I can amuse myself. I can mm. play games. I can do. Literally anything on the computer. You know what's crazy though? Because I I was a serious gamer when I was a kid, right? Yeah. When I was elementary school, I gamed six seven hours, man. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum bum bum, right? I'm playing playing all day long, and I grind in those games. But there was a point in my life where I'm like, yo, this is the greatest game ever. Like right here, this is the greatest game ever. So why don't I grind here? Why don't <laughs> yeah. I build my character here? Of course. Why don't I get like the clothes I want in this world? Why don't I get like the power I want, whatever the friends I want here, of course, rather yeah. than on the game. So, do you think this is my theory? Do you think there's ever going to be a change where all of these gamers are going to have a awakening and be like, "Yo, why not just do it out here rather than online?" But that's tough. That's tough, right? Because what would cause that type of an awakening? Like, this is a better game than that game. I'll, I'll tell you something that'll that'll make you that, that'll make you woke right now. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll tell you yeah, some, yeah. some next level stuff. So in my life, this is all for this is all for you uh, young jumpers out there. I'll give you some advice. Mm-hmm. So the biggest thing why people fall online. I was also like this when I was when I was a bit younger. Yeah. The biggest thing why I prefer online than I I thought similar to that. Yeah. Uh, than doing that in real life, is in on if in online if I make a mistake mm-hmm. i can just redo it and get oh it that's so true so in real life mistakes hurt a lot mistakes have actions to it yeah in a game if i make a mistake i can respond i can yeah level. that's so I true can do something like that mm-hmm. i don't have to suffer the repercussions that's some deep shit. That's, yeah. <laughs> so now some people in real life they're scared to do actions because they're afraid of messing up mm. so that weighs more heavy than actually just doing it you know what I mean? People yeah. think about the outcome, them just actually just doing it and going with the flow. Mm-hmm. So that's where we get to a point where some people they're just they're scared. They're scared to do certain things because they don't know if it's gonna work out. They what if this happens? What if that happens? People just don't they don't go for it, right? Yeah. Rather than I'll give it in a video game. If I I'll give an example. Let's say I'm playing, I'm going deep in COD and I push a guy. If mm-hmm. I push a guy and I die, that's fine. Give it's me, fine, give, just respond. Give me one second, respond. I'll respawn, I'll yeah, get yeah, back yeah. in there and I'll go crack into it. So mistakes are heavily weighed obviously in the real world and people are scared mm-hmm. to suffer the consequences to those mistakes mm. so so being yeah you know what because for me like being online being in a game it's almost like 
you can do everything, no consequence. Of course. No consequence. You can you can be the person you want to be and you don't have to like face rejection, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. You don't have to face any problems, failure. Because you never really fail in a video game because it's just a game. It's a game, yeah. You can yeah. win if you just keep committing to it. You know what I mean? Like, mm. there's the, Damn, that's yeah. some deep shit, yeah. God. I just bagged that. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you, bro. It does a, GTA, bro, I could, I could go ham on pedestrians. I don't have to suffer consequences, but everything comes with a price in this world. Yeah. In games, I, I think it doesn't. Mm. And that's what gives the people to do more things in video games, knowing that they're not they don't have to suffer anything for any mis any mistakes they do yeah and that's what i think it's the idea of punishment right mm -hmm. um actually now that we're talking about this i have, I have another theory <laughs> you have a theory <laughs> okay a let theory. me hear it let me hear it so this one's actually back on uh, the world domination yeah where we talked about where the world control so talking about this it actually brought up have you ever seen kingsman kingsman yeah kingsman like the secret, secret service the secret service one so in one of the movies i can't remember which one it was mm -hmm. um there was a scene or the whole plot of the movie was there was a really, really rich guy. Yeah, Valentine, right? right? Yeah. It was, it was the black dude with the hat. Mm -hmm. And he brought out this revolutionary invention. Mm -hmm. It was a chip. And mm -hmm. I think the chip was implanted into your head or something. It was implanted somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Where, <laughs> and it, I think it made you feel better or you can do a lot more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And the best part was he brought it out for free. So it was like the, va it's kind of like just going around and, um, no, it, I think it was like free cell phone service or whatever, yeah, it, right? It was like free cell phone service with this chip. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you have this chip, you can do like, like the possibilities are endless mm -hmm. compared to if you didn't have it and he provided it for free. So all you have to do is go and, and, uh, and get it and get the chip. So everyone is obviously lining up and getting the chip cause it's free. Yeah. And it gives you all these benefits, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you already know what part of this. You go ahead. But, uh, so in the end, what he did was, he had this machine or he had this power with this chip. Mm -hmm. It had an ability by owning this chip, it emitted this frequency mm -hmm. that basically rammed up your violent behavior to the max. Yeah. So you have a very aggressive personality. Yeah. And what this created was since like mil literally billions of people had this chip, it created nothing but violent intent. So everyone was literally... Everyone's f killing each other. It was a war. It was a straight yeah. up war just for someone to be above anyone else. Mm -hmm. And after looking at that movie, like I was just bagging this like yesterday. I was, it, it, was, it was a shower thought. I was just yeah. I was thinking about this. Right? <laughs> Elon Musk bringing out these new chips. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at these chips. And I'm like, what... I'm like, what do you mean by that? Like, what, 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 like, what, why are you bringing these chips out? What's the point of this? So I'm researching it. Mm -hmm. And I read somewhere where it says these chips are made to control the behaviors of people. It could be, man. It could <laughs> it's be. It's going in your brain and it's going to control the different parts of the brain that stimulate behaviors. Yeah. So I'm like, what do you, what are you trying that, to do with that's, this, that's the whole, that's the whole issue is like, we, if, if we do take part in this technology, we're giving them the advantage or we're giving them our trust. We're giving them us. Yeah. Like you're giving, like if you, if I'm like, if you're putting something in my brain, I'm giving mm -hmm. you me, bro. Like, yeah, this is my, this is my, this is the control. Center, exactly. You know I mean? And what's crazy, what's even crazier, bro, is we don't even we don't even realize that we've already done that with our phones. We, yeah. this is pretty much part of us. Oh, hundred percent. This is pretty much part of us. Like we have it on us 24 seven, almost like when you're sleeping, it's literally right beside you. Oh, right beside me. Bro, it's, this is pretty much the same shit as having a chip in your brain. That's true. And, but we don't really take that in. Yeah. We don't take in like we're giving our whole life to this right here. Yeah. Yeah. And the next step from that is just putting it part of our body. That's true. That's true. That's, <laughs> right? woke, that's some woke type of stuff, bro. It is. <laughs> it is because that's that's the only place we're headed. And eventually, because, bro, look at all those conspiracies with uh, Edward Snowden, how they're collecting information about us that we don't know. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Having an iPhone, ha putting your trust, your whole life into a phone like that. You're giving your secrets. You're giving your day to day schedule. You're giving everything, your habits, sleep pattern, anything. Yeah. They all know that stuff now. Right, they all know that they stuff know everything, now. Yeah, it's almost the same thing as like you're giving your life up, but you just don't realize the consequences because there's no consequences that we see in plain sight. Of course, but who knows behind closed doors if there's other intentions that we don't realize we're doing? Yeah, that's true. I think being able to have a closed door now in this world is a commodity. Yeah, because I'll give an example. Like where I work, I work, I work um, security, right? Mm -hmm. And our area, we have cameras to like, we can see everything, bro. Like yeah, our cameras yeah. can, I can scroll. You can be like a hundred meters away and I can zoom right into your phone and I can see what you're doing on your phone. Mm. Like I can see if, if you're sending a text, I can see what text. Like it's you're all on camera. It's all on camera and everything's recorded. So I can, I can, I can go back to December 12th, 
2013 and i can find footage just like that yeah of what that was recording at that time our cameras are really advanced that's crazy because you can really relate because you work that uh, yeah i worked i can really see like i can i can pick up someone walking into the mall i can track literally what they're doing they go into this store they went to this store they went to that 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 they bought this and yeah they left the mall like i can catch their whole experience in the mall mm. just by sitting down and clicking a couple buttons. damn it's crazy like it's required like like at our mall i work in a mall right yeah Mall's crazy, man. <laughs> so much stuff happens in that mall, man. Yo, yo, you, you told me before that you had like um ghost stories at the mall too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have, okay, I gotta, yeah, I gotta hear yeah, some yeah. of this. I gotta hear some of this. Okay, yeah. We have a rude ghost story. Bro. Okay, don't don't say which mall though. Don't say yeah, which I'm, mall. I'm not gonna get into the mall. Um, so we have a ghost story. He's, he's an entity. We call him. <laughs> We call him the trench coat man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like whatever you say, that, people get spooked. Like, what do you mean by that? So, uh, I'll tell you something. I think I've seen him, but honestly, if you work like, I I'm thinking at that time I was probably like tired, so maybe I. Just, mm. I, I so you're like a you think you're imagining yeah, it? Like whenever I see, like, there's been a couple times where I've seen some pretty. <laughs> Questionable pretty, things. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what do you mean by that type of things, right? Like yeah, this, yeah. this is not the normal stuff, and I just brush it off to me like being tired, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, this was when the mall was closed, right? Um, because you worked like the night shift. I worked the night shifts. We work so it's it's whenever whenever they give me shifts, right? And so you're alone. I'm alone. Sometimes I'm alone, bro. So what happens is the first, the very first sighting was our manager. He said uh, when the mall was like closed, everything was done. He was yeah. walking one of the back hallways. The back mm. hallways are sus. The back hallways are like dim and light. <laughs> they just they look like something out of a horror movie, right? They're not yeah, like, yeah. well maintained. So he's just chilling, walking in the back hallway, mm -hmm. and he sees someone. Take a mind. This is like midnight the mall is done the mall is closed oh. all the entrance no one's here right yeah so he sees someone and you look up and you don't stare at the person while you're walking after them you look up and you then look around to make sure that no one else is here and then you start walking right mm -hmm. so he looks up and as he's walking he looks around to make sure everything is good mm -hmm. and he looks back and as he's looking he sees he, as you get close you see a bit more details he yeah. notices a guy wearing a long trench coat mm -hmm. and he's got a hat on and the thing he said, which was weird, was he said he couldn't see the guy's legs. Oh, yeah, what like the he, fuck? he was really like puzzled. He said specifically, I was looking at his legs because there were no legs. Like, oh, like when you're looking at something, if you don't recognize something, you keep looking at it. Yeah, until yeah, your yeah. Mind, your mind pulls something out of the database that matches something, right? Mm -hmm. All he saw was a man wearing a trench coat and a hat and no legs. Like he's trying to, his mind what is trying the to, fuck? he's trying to put together like, what am I, what am I seeing right now? What's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as he gets closer, he blinks for a second and looks away, gone. Yo, gone, <laughs> absolutely gone. And stuff like that, we we brush off, right? Yeah. But another guard. Said saw the saw, same thing saw the same person saw the same person bro how's that, how that possible so she said yeah she was in like the main part where the mall was closed like the main court mm -hmm. and as she was like looking around make sure no one's in the mall she sees a guy just standing still looking in the distance mm -hmm. so she looks up and then walks closer and as she looks she sees she says he was wearing like a creamish darkish trench coat yeah with a hat mm -hmm. but the thing was she couldn't see his legs it was like he was floating and i Yo, was like I was that's like, no exact way. same shit i was like no way no way that's not that's not possible like i'm like that's that's uh, that that that's not real like to the t yeah and yeah. and he he basically, he basically outlines exactly what he looks like and yeah. the manager says you know what's you know what's crazy this is the first time me telling the story bro <laughs> yeah. that's the first time me telling the story and it's crazy how you give out the exact same details when i'm telling the story <laughs> But I was like, I was, I was, like, I, was, I, was, I was like, oh my god, that's crazy! What, you know what the I mean? hell? That's crazy. Um, I have another story. This one's actually a bit more messed up. Why is there so many stories at this mall, this, bro? This this mall has some history, dog. This mall's been through everything. How old is the mall? How old is this mall? Late, like nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties. 1990s so that's not that old it's though. not that old but it's got but it definitely history. has history yeah, history yeah yeah yeah. specifically this one ghost this other story i'm telling you mm -hmm. was my manager he worked at a different place okay okay so this place was actually one of the more haunted places in canada yeah um so he used to work there and he, he told me the craziest story man i can't like, yo I'll, I'll, I'll drop <laughs> so you guys. This, is, this is the craziest thing i've ever heard like yeah. the ghost stories so he's working at this place and he normally works by himself. Mm -hmm. So all he does is he goes around. It's a staff room. Yeah. So this is a place that all staff go to and stuff like that. Owners and stuff like that. So he's in the staff room. It's a, of a very, of a hotel, mm -hmm. a staff room of a hotel. So he goes in and he does his normal patrol. 
yeah. walks around, make sure everything's good. <laughs> it's crazy. So he's waiting. Yeah. And as he's waiting, he's in the kitchen area of the of like the staff room where they prep food. Mm-hmm. And this is nighttime. This is like a one in the morning. So right? nobody's there. No, no one's there. It's just him. Yeah. So he's looking around. He pulls out his notebook to document like nothing's here. Everything's good. Mm-hmm. And he looks back and he sees this guy walking. Yeah. Just casually walking by. And mm-hmm. he said something really stuck out with this guy because he was wearing a suit from like yeah. the seventies. Like the it fuck? didn't look like a suit that was made today. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like it was in like a vintage suit. So he looked back and then he was like, Hey, like you're not supposed to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And he walks and he goes into the other room. Mm. Not, no one's there. Bro. No one's there. He says, sw- he says, swear to God, this is what he said happens. The very next day he comes back to work. He doesn't typically that it has so much ghosts and stories and stuff like that. He doesn't, he brushes it off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He was walking and on the wall mm-hmm. of this famous hotel, it shows, it shows pictures of various owners that own, Yo! own the hotel. So the owner who owned uh, it in like the 1980s or 1970s. Yeah. He said, I cannot, I'm not kidding. This spitting image of the guy I saw walking was the owner of the night in the 1980s. What the fuck? Same suit, same everything. He was just walking. And I'm like, yo. I'm like, that is. That's some like the shining shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm telling you, bro. I'm like, that's what crazy. The fuck? In the hotel. In the hotel. And that's not even the worst part. He said, yeah. a week later. Mm. So he works with this other dude. Yeah. That's, he's ab- the other dude he works with is average. No, he's really into spiritual. Mana. Oh, so he, he can feel. Uh, he, he can, can feel a presence? He can feel aura. And he told my my my, like the guy i know that works there he says yeah this place is spiritually heavy like it's spiritually oh shit and he's like okay i'll keep that in mind so here's the craziest thing man he told me i couldn't believe this when he told me this yeah like he was working this one day and he heard talking yeah you're like you're like talking and this is a night shift Mm. right so if i'm hearing that i'm leaving i'm not i'm not yeah i'm not getting involved with this is not my area this is not my my set of skills (laughs) Right after this guy said this area is spiritually heavy, this is not my area. Spiritually yeah, heavy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, this isn't my level. I don't belong here, so I leave. Um, but he hears like, he hears whispering. Yeah. And he walks into this room. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> he, and based on this information the guy told him, he says, he speaks out loud. Like yeah. some, he said, at times I thought I was going crazy. He's like, listen. I'm just a guard here. I don't want to have any problems. Just let mm. me do my job and I wouldn't, don't bother me and I wouldn't bother you. Mm. Right? So as he's leaving and he looks back just to do a final check, this is where, you know those old apartment buildings in New York where those those stairs outside? Yeah, like yeah, like a, just, yeah, like emergency stairs. Yeah, like emergency stairs. So this hotel, ha- this hotel has it in the back. Yeah. So he looks at the back and he saw, he saw something of a woman looking at him through the window. What the Just fuck? like an image standing still looking at him. He looks back yeah. for a second and he looks back like you know when you look at something and you do, and you see like something is not normal and your body tenses up. Yeah, he yeah. looks back. He body, he said his body tensed up. He looked he looked forward, didn't look back, and just walked away. Bro. And here is the worst part. Yeah, yeah. He was almost done his shift that day. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was done his shift that day, right? And as he was getting ready to leave, he gets a text on his phone from the spiritual guy. Yeah. And the text says, you saw them, d- didn't you? No! What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> and then he, bro. He, 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 he was like, he was, how? he was so, bro, he was shook. He told me, I cannot tell you how shook or how on, how like bad I felt. I didn't feel yeah. normal that day when he sent me that text. You saw them, didn't they? What and the he fuck? calls him. He calls him and he says, what do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you, I would be asking like, what yeah, do you yeah, mean yeah. by that? And he says, the owner's wife. You saw her, didn't you? How did he know? And I was like, uh, and he's like, uh, he was like, how did you, yeah. how did you know that? And she's like, oh, she told me. What she the told me she saw you fuck? doing? She saw me. She told me she saw you uh, doing your patrols, bro. And, and you saw, and you, and you told her to, to say all this stuff. I'm like, I'm like, there's no way you're telling the truth. This guy said he's sweet. He's like, yeah, this yeah. Is what happened? I'm like, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that's what crazy. He said right after that he quit. Like he couldn't. He couldn't do this anymore. Yeah, he's like, done. Yeah, he got to the point where he heard talking. Yeah, and then he actually saw someone staring. Like he felt nah. like uncomfortable, bro. He just stopped working. Bro, crazy, huh? That's crazy. That crazy. might be one of the craziest stories that's I heard. Like, I, I I was baffled when he told me this. I'm like, you're joking, right? He's like, I I am not kidding. Yeah, this is what I saw. He says to this day. I cannot get the image of what I saw in that that window out of my head. I always see it in a window. Damn. Like that, so I can't. I, it's like imprinted. You know when something's imprinted in your mind? Yeah, and you can't. You can't like 
Forget he about it, he bro. He said, I cannot get the image of that woman's face out of my out of my mind. I just can't. Bro. And then so that was like the catalyst of him leaving. He's like, nah, fuck yeah, that. After that. I'm never like, going there again. Not doing that anymore. He moved and he, he started working where I'm working. And he just dropped that story. Damn. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I, I hate it when it's those things that connect to other people. Because that's how you know it's real. Yeah. Honestly, like... When 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 pieces of puzzle start fitting up and you're mm. like, this is such a solid story, like I, I find it hard like not to believe. You know what I mean? Like I it's, know. it's such a like it's such a sick story. Like it's crazy. It's just a crazy story. It's, it's so much that it just lines up and it's like unexplainable, bro. Like, exactly, exactly. Like it's like I'm I was shaking. Like I'm like, there's no way this is real. Like dog, that actually gave me like goosebumps and shit. Like I could see everything in my head. I, I, bro, when he said the face, he, he says, I still can't get the, the face out of out of that window. I can't get it out of my head. Like I was like shaking. I'm like, just thinking about what that could, like what that face could be. It was yeah. just, just an old woman staring at him. Damn. You know what I mean? Um, I actually have another story about that. If you, you have know. another story? Yeah, it, it's bro, this guy has crazy. all the stories, yeah, man. Yeah, they're horror stories. Yeah. So this one, it was on a different hotel. Yeah. So there was a hotel. Um, I can't remember the specific hotel, but a woman died mm. in this hotel. And her head, someone's head got decapitated and was rolling down. I think it was in, this, in the newspapers. I can't remember where it was. But a woman basically died. Yeah. And someone's head got decapitated and it was rolling down the stairs. That's all I took from this news story. Mm -hmm. So a couple went into this uh hotel yeah yeah right i'm not sure if the story is real but someone told me this story mm -hmm. so he went to this hotel and they were living in the hotel just for a couple of days right yeah Staying there and as he was going in he didn't he didn't know about this story mm -hmm. he didn't know so as he's going into the um the hotel goes up into his room he's opening his room it's a really short story he opens up his, he's opening the room yeah the yeah. room's not the room's not unlocking it's not locking right mm -hmm. so he's trying to open it it's not opening he looks into the keyhole yeah. Of the room just to see like what is something blocking it something and all he sees is red mm. so he just saw red like, like just he, red yeah just red like really like l like a light light red yeah just right with some bits of black just like red mm -hmm. and he's like okay maybe something's blocking the um <laughs> this is crazy he sees red right red with yeah. a bit, bit of black I'm, I'm getting chills telling this story so he looks at it and he's like okay let me go down downstairs and check mm -hmm. he goes downstairs and he says i was at room so and so and so yeah it's not opening and then all the staff like were shit shook. They were like, "Did you try getting into that room?" And then oh, and then he's the like, hell? "He's like, yeah, but it's not open." He's like, "Okay, don't don't go into that room again." And he's why? like, "Why?" He's like, you, you, "Here's a new room. Take this room, right?" Mm -hmm. So they told him the story how there was this crazy woman, yeah, who I think she killed her husband and like took someone's head off and threw it down the stairs or something like that. Mm -hmm. But one of the biggest features to her was she had a white dress and really red eyes. Oh shit! <laughs> so she was looking out the. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's and that's it. The story ends from there. She has really red eyes. Damn! Uh, you have some <laughs> crazy stories, man. You have some crazy stories. Yeah. Shout out to John one time. Holy! Yeah, yeah man, it's crazy. See, I I wanna I wanna be able to like go out into spooky places and then come out with my own stories too. That's why that's why I'm trying to do more vlogs. Yeah, yeah. but. Would you be down to do the the haunted vlogs with us? Because <laughs> I, I know sometimes you're not about it. Yeah, bro. Sometimes with these stories I'm hearing, fam, yeah, I don't want to put be. Put you don't want to be put in those situations. I don't put in situations like that. I see a guy, I see a guy just run past us in the forest. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what, why, why am I here? What am I doing here? Now, because we had stories before of like us trying to go geocaching and shit, and then it takes us to like. Undis undisclosed yeah, locations, man. Like these next locations, man. In into the freaking the forest, and yeah. John's like, "Nah, I'm not I'm going there. I'm not going there." They're, <laughs> they're going pitch black into into a forest with like the biggest morale boost. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Going in with just a flashlight? I'm not doing. No, nah, this is a funny story. So we were doing geocaching. John was with us, <laughs> and then it took us to this spot. It was like it was literally in like the back roads. It lead in the back roads. We haven't been here before, right? Yeah. Like, okay, we'll go. We'll go. So we pull up, John pulls up, and it's like, it's taking us to the forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like the, straight in. The darkest forest in the area. Pitch and it was black. nighttime. It was, I think it was like 10 o'clock. It was pitch black. It was later than that. It was like, it was like close to midnight, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was bad. So we walked in, right? So no, we asked John, like, John, you're coming? You're coming? Like, it was me, Sharon, Gavin, I think Josh. Denzel was there as well. Denzel? Denzel yeah, so it was, it was a bunch of us. It was, the whole squad was there. It was a bunch of us. So we're brave. We're brave yeah. right now. We're brave the right now. was at an all-time high. <laughs> all-time high. Wait, John wasn't about it. John wasn't about it. This guy's waiting in the car. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting in the car. So, so we walk in, right? And this is a story we told John. 
So we're walking towards the forest, walking towards the forest. We're looking at the geocache thing. I'm like, okay, shit. You got to go a little bit deeper. <laughs> okay, we'll go a little bit deeper. We're walking and walking in. And then we're trying to look around because there's stories of people doing geocaching and they find like dead bodies. They find like murder weapons. They find like random shit randomly. You know what I mean? Why? Like, Why do you do it? In, <laughs> in nowhere. Like, okay. So we were walking and I'm trying to look like, fuck, do I see anything around there? Do I see anything? And then I see like a light, like a glow, like almost like a, like a lighter. Yeah. It's like just glowing in the back. I'm like, what is that? What is that? So we book it. We run, right? We yeah. run, run. And then you see us. You see us. Yeah. We're running. Yo, drive, drive, drive. And yeah. <laughs> see John. Bro. John's in the... What? What? Yeah. <laughs> this, Bro, guy's so this guy's panicked. This guy's panicked. Bro, you, yeah, you guys got to, I was spooked. I was fully expecting some like next Bigfoot to be chasing them or stuff like that. The whip was right. You know, the whip was hot. And I, I just spun like, out. Drive, drive, drive. <laughs> and this guy's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, spun out, bro. I spun out on that street. Yeah, right, right. But that whole story was fake. We didn't see nothing. We just wanted to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see shit. We didn't uh, see shit. Uh, but we just wanted to scare you. But that yeah. was a, that was a joke. That was story. a good scare. So I, I was, you put me on my toes there because when I saw you guys running out of the forest, because it was all of us, it was like a bunch yeah, of us too. Was running out. I felt like honestly, I didn't know who everyone was there. Anyone could have been like someone we didn't know. Like it was some weird. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we'll run more. We'll run more on the vlog because fam, I have so many other vlogs I I gotta post yeah. and so many other ideas I want to do. But it's just a matter of doing it with everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like when you have everybody together. You get the reactions. It's the like chemistry perfect. is high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got to be the right chemistry, you know? Of course, of course. That's why I need you there next time. Of course. I'll be there, fam. I'll be Bet? there. Bet? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Jumper Jump podcast. Um, Shout out to John. This is his first time on the podcast. You might have seen him on the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord already, join that. Link in bio. Yes, sir. Follow us on Instagram. Links in bio. And yeah, Jumper Jump out. Later. Good episode, bro. I was sick. <laughs>